Uh, it's amazing, just the atmosphere around school is just insane. Everyone's cheering for us. The crowds are always big. The Warrensburg football is finally something around here. I mean, it's amazing to, st to still be playing football while so many teams are sitting at home, and it feels great to get back to playing Sankey football the right way. Well, I think they understand that even though they beat Warrensburg uh, game three of the season, they know that, uh, that that Warrensburg's a different team right now, and they, they're at full strength. And you know, I, I don't think they're overlooking uh, looking them all, at all. I think they're uh, ready for the week of uh, preparation, and and uh, we'll try to get them ready to go. You know, we're gonna have to play a perfect game. They were the team to beat, you know, kind of all year. Return a lot of guys, uh, a lot of three-year starters, uh, a lot of really good players. So. We're going to have to, you know, uh, play lights out on in every facet of the game. I mean, we beat them earlier in the season, but that means nothing now. They have, bo they have both the Lewis twins back. I mean, they're deadly and they can put up points fast. But I think the biggest thing is to hone in, have a good week of practice, and be ready to go to work. We definitely got to be physical. We weren't very physical the last time we played St. Teresa. Have to hit. Don't be scared. you to get hit. It's football. You know, the kids are excited. It's going to be a big crowd. and, and uh, it's just a great atmosphere. It's what uh, high school football is all about. If you can't get up, you know, to, to face St. Teresa in a quarterfinal game at their place, then uh, you're in her wrong sport. If you can't get up for a chance to go to the state semifinals, I mean, you're you're in it for the wrong thing. I mean, it's Warrensburg, Latham, St. Teresa. They don't get much better than that on a Saturday. It's playoff football.